welcome back. So in the first video, we covered the intro and the first verse of this song. And in this video, we're going to cover the pre-chorus, uh, which is a finger picking part. So um, basically, instead of just strumming all the strings, you're going to be picking certain strings. So make sure you pay attention. The picking pattern um, is just as important as what you're fretting. So for the first part of the pre-chorus, we're just going to be fretting the uh, A string on the second fret. And we're going to pick like this. So you are picking, you can use your middle finger for this top string. I would stick with these two if you're less experienced. If you do a lot of finger picking, then do whatever's comfortable to you. Um, but if you're just learning, stick with these two because they're your main fingers. So we're going to start with your pointer finger right hand. This is the picking pattern. We're going to pick the E string. Okay. Then with your thumb, we're going to pick the top string or the G string. And then with your pointer finger, we're going to um, pick that A string and then back to the thumb. Okay, so you're kind of you're alternating. You're going pointer, thumb, pointer, thumb. Okay. All right, now so we've got the first part of the pre-chorus down, just fretting nice and easy, just fretting that top string or the I'm sorry, the A string on the second fret. Okay. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna fret the uh, E string with the A string on the second fret. So you're just taking your pointer finger from one string and then barring two. Um, so. Okay, and it's the same picking pattern as the first. Um, pointer on the E string, thumb on the G string, pointer on the A string, uh, thumb on the G string. So all together. Okay, now we're just going to take the middle finger and we're going to fret the third, uh, the third fret on the E string. Okay. So all together, it's the same picking pattern. Okay, and we got to add that last part on there, so it's going to sound like this. So all together. All right, so let's talk about how we do that last part. So we've got the pointer finger on these um, two, the top two strings on the second fret. We got the middle finger on the second string, third fret, uh, or the E string, third fret. Okay, now. What we're going to do is use our pinky finger to fret the E string on the 5th fret. And then we've got to move our middle finger up to the 3rd string, uh, or I'm sorry, to the 3rd fret on the A string. So that's it. We're going... Now my advice is to try and keep this pointer finger planted the whole time, but if there's something that's more comfortable for you to fret this, go for it. Um, for me, it's easier just to leave it because we got, we're going to repeat this um, another time. So now I'm moving my pinky to the E string, 5th fret. And at the same time, I'm lifting my middle finger up and I'm going to fret that um, A string on the 3rd fret. Now the good thing is the top string stays open the whole time. This doesn't change. So your thumb, your picking pattern never changes, Okay, which is really nice. You're going to play that twice, and on the second time, you're going to play um, back to that G chord, strum the G chord, to build into the chorus. So I'm going to play the pre-chorus into the chorus so you can get an idea of what that means. through the whole thing you're going to repeat and you're just going to play the first two parts after you get through the second bar you're going to just go to the G chord the G5 chord okay and basically what you're going to do to do that chucking effect is you're just going to rest your hand or your fingers on the strings all four of the strings so that they don't make any sound um, what we're doing there is just so you just got to focus on that accent. 
um, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You want to accent that um, second down, down, up, down, up, down. Up. Okay, and that's going to lead us right into the chorus.